Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. I just came back from a library sale. Yes, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I went, I spent $26. I got 29 books. Um, I'm going to share with you what I picked up. Um, I went with a list. I was trying to get some horror novels, however, new authors to me, and they didn't have any horror at all. Uh, so I wound up getting some thrillers, um, mostly fiction. I don't think I got any nonfiction. So let's just get into the book. So the mass paperbacks were 25 cents, and they were, or you get five for a dollar. So I got 10 books of those. And then the rest of the books were all priced as marked. So most of them were a dollar. I did get one book that was five dollars, but I'll show you why I got it. Um, and um, I think they're mostly, and there was one book for two dollars that I got. So let's start with the mass paperbacks. So they're five for a dollar. So of course I had to get five to make the best deal. I, actually, I got ten. So I spent two dollars there. Um, so let's see. I'll start with the stack here. Um, they're not in any particular order. I just put them out on the desk here. Okay, so the first one's a author by. I want to try this author out. Um, it is Ken Follett, and I do have one of his books um, that I wanted to read from March Mystery Madness, but it was kind of fat, and I was like, I'm running out of time, and I like put it aside, so I didn't start it. Uh, so uh, the book that I got in the library sale is A Place Called Freedom, and this one is a standalone book. It is not a um, part of a series or anything. So, uh, yeah, so I got this one. Then I was looking for... Wait, they're out of order here. Um, where are they? Okay, so I got three books of Janet Ivanovich. I was trying to get the ones that I was missing. I am missing a book 14... Book 17 and book 19, I think those are the numbers. When I edit this, I'll let you know specifically. But they did not have that, so I wound up getting some standalones that she wrote. I got Plum Lucky, which is a novella. I got Wicked Appetite. And I got Phil, Full Tilt. And th this is written by uh, Janet, but also written by Charlotte Hughes, I think. So, yeah, so I got those three that I didn't have. Um, then I got one of my favorite authors as a, uh, when I was little, I really liked Judy Bloom. So I got one of her adult novels. I got Summer Sisters, uh, and I got this for 25 cents. Um, and I've been taking, I took this out from the library, then I had to return it. Um, I wanted to read this, but I just didn't have it. So, uh, yeah, so I picked this one up. Um, then I got, because I was looking for horror books. Now, when I asked the guy, where are your horror books? He's like, oh, they're mixed in with the psychological thrillers and mysteries. Or they could be in science fiction. So they didn't have a section for horror. Uh, but I found this one called Haunted uh, by Tamara Thorne. And this is a standalone book. And I thought that was pretty interesting. And it looks like there is some kind of ghost or something. And it, I really like the cover. So yeah, like a haunted house type thing. And yeah, so I wound up picking up this. And then I got Long After Midnight by Iris Johnson. And this is a psychological thriller. And this one is also a standalone, I think. Um, and it says, she wanted to save lives. The killer wanted to end hers. So I had never heard of this book before, but I picked this one out because I had to get, to get the deal. <laughs> so I got that. And then I found one of my favorite books that I want to reread. Uh, yes, I have this book in a bind up and I have it in a hardcover and I found the paperback. So I got Separate Beds by Laurel Spencer and I heard that she no longer writes books anymore uh, and I wanted to reread this one day so now I have the physical copy so I got this one 
And then I got another Ken uh, Follett book. I got White Out. Um, and I don't know what it's about or anything, but that's it. Yeah, I want to try him out. So I'm hoping I like his writing style because now I have like four books by him. Um, and uh, one of my favorite authors of all time is V.C. Andrews, besides Judy Bloom. V.C. Andrews is one of my favorite authors. I found book one of a series, not Flowers in the Attic, but I found Broken Flower. And uh, this is book one, and I figured might as well try it out and try to read it. I, I know that she didn't physically write it. Someone else is writing for her. Um, but, yeah. So I w found this one, and I got that one. So those are my ten that I got for $2.00. Now, moving on to my uh, regular books. They're real big. I have some really fat books here. She's like, oh, you like to read? I'm like, yeah. Well, <laughs> I do, but fat books are hard. But I do have two big books here. So, okay. So the first book I'm going to share with you is The $5 Read. Uh, the $5 book is a signed copy. And it is on my 50-50 list. So that's the reason I got it, and I've been searching for this one, and I was going to buy it on Amazon, and I was like, oh, a signed copy, I might as well, it's hard covered. So I got this one. I have China Dolls. This is on my 50-50 list. It's a signed copy. That's why it's five bucks. So she signed it inside. It's pretty cool. It has her signed signature right there. So uh, I was like, at first I wasn't going to buy it. And I was like, I put it aside. I said, I might buy this at the end. And she said, okay, your total is $21. And I was like, okay, add it in. I'll pay $26. So $26, that's why I got this one for five bucks. So yeah. So yeah, it's been hard to find that one. So yeah. Okay, moving on to my, I think the next one's a $2 book. No, um, no, a dollar book. Okay, so this book's a dollar. This one is one of Elizabeth's favorite authors. I know she keeps mentioning this author, so I saw this book there, and it was a dollar, and I was like, let me pick it up and see if I like it. So I got Somewhere Safe with some Somebody Good, and this is by Jan, Jan Cara, Karen, Jan Karen? So I know that she has this on her bookshelf behind her every time she does a video. So I don't know if it's this physical book, uh, but I got this one for a dollar. I don't know what it's about. This is what the author looks like. <laughs> so yeah, I know that Elizabeth loves her. So I'm going to try it and see if I like it or not. So that's a dollar. The next one, this is my $2 book. This was $2 because it is brand new, like recently haul in the last two years maybe so I got it for two dollars I got this one first life by Gina Showalter and I know that Naomi is gonna love this one so yeah so I picked this one up for her that's two dollars okay the next one is a dollar and this one I just picked up because I like the name of the book and I got the house of memories by Monica Mc Micken Micken, I don't know what her, I can't see the stickers on her name. Uh, so I got this one, Memories, I like Memory Loss and all that. So I picked this one up. It's a very pretty cover, so this one was a dollar. Okay, the next one. Uh, this one, I wasn't sure if I owned or not. And my, my phone, I you have everything on Goodreads, but somehow, every once in a while, my phone does not get to Goodreads. And I could not look this one up. So I got The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. I did read book one and I didn't wasn't sure if I have this one or not. So yeah, I got this for a dollar. The first book is called The Fifth Wave, which I read and watched the movie. So this is the second book. Um, I might already own it, but I'm not sure. So yeah, but for a dollar, I could always exchange it with the used bookstore. So, so that's that one. That's a YA book. The next one is a dollar as well. And this one is a psychological thriller, I think. And it's called The Accident by Chris Pavone. Uh, yeah. So I really don't know anything about it except um, it looks pretty good. So a psychological thriller, I think. And that's that one. The next one 
is The Empty Room, um, and this is by Lauren B. Davis, and I was reading all the backs of the books, and this one seems really interesting, so let me see if I can read what I read, why I picked this book up. It says, A Heart Reading Portrait of Addiction. Raw and disturbing, yet we keep reading. Spurred by the clarity of the writing and intensity of the description. A great psychological portrait of a woman under the influence. Davis brilliantly tackles alcoholism, a masterful portrayal of addiction. Um, and that's it. So, yeah. So, that's that one. Okay. The next one is a erotica book, New Adult. And I'm pretty sure that I have January, February, March. So I picked up October, November, December for a dollar. Um, yeah, I need to get the second book, but this I think this is this is the fourth book. This is the fourth book. Um, and um, for a dollar, I was like, I already have the first book, so I might as well pick it up while I while I saw it there. And it's brand new. Nobody even opened it. Well, it has a little bit of cracking. Um, yeah. So a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. So this one is uh, What Happened to My Sister by Elizabeth Flock. And yeah, so this one I didn't know anything about. And I think this is a psychological thriller as well. So that's that one. Okay, the next one is a book that I really enjoy. This is the first book I read by this author. And it's a hardcover. And I wanted to have it for my shelf. It's pretty good condition. And the author is Jodi Picoult, and the first book that I ever read by her is called The Storyteller, and I got this for a dollar. And um, this is really, really good book. I really liked it. It has um, a World War II type feel to it, um, and I really enjoyed it. So I was like, you know what? I don't have the copy of it because I think I read it from the library, and now I own my own copy. So that's that one. Very good book if you haven't read that one yet. Okay, so the next one is a cover by. This one I picked up because it says the word twins in it. And I got the twins daughter. And I thought this was really cool. And the cover, look at that cover. It's pretty cool. And even the back. And this, I don't know if it's a YA book or not. But um, I got this for a dollar. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. So I got that. Okay, the next one is a psychological thriller. I think this might be a historical uh, book. It's called A Reliable Wife, uh, and this is by Robert Goldrick. Um, yeah, it says intoxicating, and it looks really historical. Um, it says a thrilling, juicy read, a real page turner, good to the riveting end, suspenseful, um, historical pot boiler, yeah, engrossing and addictive. So, yeah, I saw all that and I was like, yeah, I might as well get it for a dollar. So, that's that. The next one is a World War II book. Um, and she was putting these books out and I'm like, oh, I didn't see that. And then I came back to the shelf and then she was putting more books out and I just found this one. It's called The Littlest Hitler. <laughs> and look at this one. Um, and I have no idea. I'm assuming it's about World War II, but I got it for a dollar. This is by Ryan Bordenet. It says 13 stories that will alternately entertain, impress, and creep you out. So, yeah, I'm assuming there's short stories in here, but it's really short book. So, yeah. So I picked this one up just because of the title. So that's that. <laughs> And the next one is also an author by this, because I was getting the signed copy of the other book, I got another Lisa C book. I got Shanghai Girls, so this is for a dollar. And then I, this is another color, cover by, I got Help for the Haunted, and this is by John Searless. Um, and it looks like this. It looks like a psychological thriller to me. Um, so I picked this up for a dollar. It says dazzling, uh, novel, both frightening and beautiful. And that was quoted by Gillian Flynn. So an exceptional piece of a storytelling. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's psychological thriller. So that's that. Okay. I have two more smaller books and then I'll go to my big fat books. Okay. I have, this is an author by, um, 
Chuck Polinick, and I don't know how to sp say his name, but I did read Fight Club, and I loved it. So I wanted to read more of his books, and I found this one called Rant. But look at that cover. Like, you can't even tell where the name is the book. It's actually here. The name of the book is called Rant, because I had to look it up to see if I owned it or not. And, yeah, so I got this for a dollar. Yeah, I don't know what it's about, but... I read Fight Club and I loved it. So, yeah, I'm going to give the author another chance. So, yeah, so that's that. Okay, and this one is a Anita Shreve. I need to read her because I've been collecting her books. I think I have all her books now. Um, so I got this one. I didn't have this one on my shelf because I went to look to see. And this is called Testimony by Anita Shreve. Um, and I think that she is a, a mystery author. I'm not quite sure because I didn't get up to my S's yet, but I'm pretty sure she is. And I've been collecting her. It says, gripping testimony will break your heart even as you race on to the next page. So, yeah. She also wrote The Pilot's Wife and The Body Surfing. So, yeah. So, I picked up this one. Okay. So, moving on to my two fat books that I got. They're really big. Okay. I don't know. It's going to take me forever to read these. Um, and as I said, it's one of the authors that I did get two other books from him. Can you guess which author it was? It's Ken Follett. And I got The Pillars of the Earth. And it is a fat book. I got this for a dollar. So, yeah, it's fat. Um, and I don't know anything about it at all. So, yeah, I got this one. Let's see if it says anything on the back. Um, let's see. Uh, Fullet is a master. Um, wonderful, will fascinate you, surround you. A towering tale, a rippling read. There's murder, arson, treachery, torture, love, and lust. So, yeah. So, it says a s historical novel of gripping readability authentic atmosphere and memorable characterization beginning with the mystery that cases its shadow the narrative is a seesaw of tension suspense impeccable pricing pacing i'm sorry impeccable pacing action intrigue violence passion greed bravery dedication revenge and love the novel that entertains, instructs, and satisfi satisfies on a grand scale. So, yeah. Seems like there's a lot of stuff in here. So, and it's a really fat book. So, I'm hoping that I like it. It will take me months to read, but, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, and the last book that I have is also a fat book. I actually, this is a bind up of three books in one. And she is a author that I want to try because she writes psychological thrillers, mystery novels. The author's name is Tammy Hung, and I got three great novels of the thrillers. It's called Ashes to Ashes, Dust to Dust, and Dark Horse. And this one was a dollar. So, yeah, I couldn't pass it up for a dollar. There's three books in one. And I want to try this author out. I haven't read her yet. I hope that she's not like Karen Slaughter. But, yeah. <laughs> but, anyway, I'm going to try her out and see um, and if I like her or not. So, yeah. So, those are the books that I got today. Lots and lots of books. So, yeah. Okay. So, let me tell you that I spent $26 at the library sale. And then I went to Barnes & Noble because I had a $17 coupon, a 17% off because uh, today is St. Patty's Day uh, while I'm recording this. And I got two books for $27. So I spent the same amount for 29 books and $2. But I got two books. So let me share with the two books that I got from Barnes & Noble today. The two books that I got from um, Barnes & Noble, I was looking for, actually I tried looking in the library sale, but they did not have it, and of course these are new books, so um, <laughs> I wanted horror books. I had a uh, list of horror books, horror authors that I wanted to try, so I wound up getting this one called Full Dark, No Stars by Stephen King. This has 
a couple of short stories in here. Uh, a Good Marriage and Big Driver is in here and some other ones that are in here. And he's a great author. Um, I love his old books. His new books I don't really like as much. But his older books, like The Green Mile I read, was really good. And like just his, right now I'm reading The Shining. So yeah, his old books are really creepy. So this one has short stories and I wanted to have this one. So I got this one for 10 bucks. Uh, and then I wanted to get this one. And this one I didn't find at the library either. And this one... I had to ask the guy, where do you have this in the store? And he's like, yeah. And he brought me up to the front of the store. And it was one of those books that the staff w recommended. So it is a fat book as well. I got this one, House of Leaves uh, by Mark Z. And I'm not going to say his last name because I know I'm going to butcher it. Um, this is a fat book, okay? But it is a horror and I heard it's really good, and the way it is written is really strangely written because each page, I'm going to see if I can find some pages. Look at how that is written, and each page is kind of like different. Let's see if I go to another page. Look, there's some words on the page, some not words on the page. I heard that this book is amazing, and I want to try to read it. So see how the it's really written really strange so the whole book is like that and I heard that it's really amazing but do not read it at night because it is a horror book so yeah this will take me forever to read I figured maybe I could read a couple of pages here and there uh, and this one was $22 but I used my 17% off on this one so yeah so anyway thank you for watching and I will see you in another video bye